we are going to convert this polar equation into a Cartesian equation. Well, here we have r squared times cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1. We have a small trouble. This 2 theta is going to give us trouble. Why? Because the formulas that we have is cosine theta, we know this is x over r, and then we also know sine theta is y over r. The angles that we are talking about is just a theta, not two theta. But this is okay in our situation because cosine of two theta, we have the double angle formula for cosine. So for this equation, let me write it down right here. Let me keep the r squared to be the same. But then for the cosine of two theta, by the identity, we know cosine two theta is the same as cosine squared theta minus sine square theta. This is just the double angle formula for the cosine. And then all this is still equal to 1. Okay? And now let me show you what we can do next. Instead of just plugging this in right away, well, which you could, then I'll just, I think I'll do that. You can distribute, we can plug in. I think I'll just plug in. It's okay, this is just how we can be consistent. Let's keep the r square on the outside to be the same. Here we have cosine squared theta. This is just cosine theta, so that means I have to square both sides. That means for this altogether, I must put down x squared over r squared right here. So let me put that down. x squared over r squared right here. And then minus, same thing, sine squared theta. Look at this square both sides. So we have y squared over r squared, which is equal to 1. So you see, um, I plug in first, and then I'm going to distribute r squared right here. And what happens? This and that will cancel. This and that will cancel. Altogether, we just have x squared minus y squared, and this is equal to 1. And we are done. This is an equation that has only x and y. Right, small remark. Uh, how does this look like? The graph of this is a hyperbola. And you can just do it real quick. You know the vertex is right here is at 1, 0, and negative 1, 0. And since x goes first, so you have a hyperbola looks like this. Open left and open right. Okay, that's it.